Hello and welcome to Twilight Arbor. This is the up path, which means the beginning will be the same as in the forward path, but then we're going to go up instead of forward. Um, Twilight Arbor contains a lot of skipping. I mean, you can clear it out, but it's very difficult and unnecessary. Um, you see these volatile blossoms, they explode and spread um, poison so you want to destroy them um, or stealth past them as uh, so they don't trigger them. Um, here you just destroy as many as you can to get close to this mob group and then just basically run past and dodge and use your blocks and invulnerabilities and stuff so you get past that. These has knock you down, so make sure to dodge if they're too close to you. And just run into this room and up this little cliff here on the left and drop down into this little spot right here as every enemy will de-aggro. In this room you will have to kill six uh, nightmare vines until the boss comes up. They do knock down and they spread poison and there are also more of these blossoms in this room. Um, these small vines you can actually just um, interrupt or dodge, it's not too hard to uh, tell when they're going to attack. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, they always spawn at the same spot. Um, you can spread, there will be max two at a time and then yeah just destroy them. Uh, when you kill the last one the boss will spawn and you will have to CC him but otherwise he does not have that hard attacks and it's not that hard to actually kill him. Next up will be the Soros Embrace dungeon as I will um, skip the ether path here in this dungeon. Um, I will probably do a guide for that at the end but I'm not running that too often and it's like more one of a kind thing and it's pretty long and not that um, common to run <coughs> so yeah. If you want to see it earlier, then just let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I will just continue with the forward path and then Sorrow some Embrace. You don't have to kill the small vines when the boss is up. If you kill the boss, they will just die instantly, pretty much. Now you're going to go to the up path. You see the waypoint and on the right you have the gate for the forward path and then this for the up path. Um, you will have to kill spiders right now. Um, there's a small first group. You will have to be careful with the stone touch. Um, spiders as they will just um, paralyze you and you won't be able to do anything. Um, so just dodge it or block it. And then you have a room full of uh, groups with spiders. Just pull one group at a time as there will be an ant boss in the back of the room. And it is very very hard if you like try and do all groups together. So just pull in one group at a time, burst them down and then get the next group. Just make sure to stack tight on these groups as it makes it a lot easier. Try and get an elementalist or a ranger to do it and make sure you don't aggro with pads and stuff. Be careful not to hit the end boss 
as that will probably screw you over. Now you see I got hit by one of these stone touch enemy mobs and I couldn't do anything until these five seconds were over. Now we're getting in the last group before we get to the boss called Marona. The boss actually isn't too hard, although you tend to die quite a lot there. It is soloable, but it is very hard. Um, the boss has pretty much two main attacks. One is where she spits poison onto you. And if you have that poison on you, you deal extra damage to her. And then she has like an attack pretty much the same as the Spider Queen in Escalonia Catacombs, where she basically one-shots you if you stand somewhere in the circles. Just try and avoid that and you will be fine. After you kill her, there will be more skipping of stuff. Just run past these mobs, try and get these blossoms out of the way, otherwise just run through while you block. And here at this cross, just run to the left, there will be vines spawning right here. Just dodge their attack so you don't get knocked down, and just dodge and run through these spiders here. When you got past that, just wait and stack somewhere here in the corner as you will be fighting the boss right here. Uh, this boss is not too hard, just fight her out of her room. And don't target her if you want her to stay still and stand at max melee range. She will turn into a spider at some point and basically does nothing special. Here you have to be careful with these eggs as you touch them there will be spiders coming out. Some people just like to troll with that and just ignore that. Just run past. And there will be more well, skipping right here. Just clear out some more blossoms at the beginning and like walk at the very left part of this path until you get to this point right here usually just kind of try and stealth right here because you have lots of enemies down there and lots of blossoms but you can also if you feel comfortable just block and run through as you see I have almost 20 stacks of poison on me so just use Condi cleanse and drop down right here Now we have like a very very small boss, which is not too hard, just stack at this palm tree, pull the boss and damage them as much as you can, break the CC bar and you can burst them down very very easy. Now we already get to the final boss. You can't crit him, so make sure to take out Banner of Discipline if you're a warrior. Um, you want to stand right under him, like between his legs, as you will hit him multiple times right there. And you do avoid his attacks. He has one attack that can hit you, but just try and dodge it. It probably won't one-shot you if you're not light class so just stand right here where I'm standing and you will hit him at his legs and his head. Just burst him down, do your damage and that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video, if you did just leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.